We're finding out now as well <laughs> how the Magmod Magbox cope in the rain. Hey everybody and welcome to part two of the off-camera flash shoot that I did recently with my friends Demi and Mark in the pouring rain. We all got absolutely wet through but it was such a good laugh and I'm really pleased with the images that we got. And it just goes to show that even if the weather is terrible, using off-camera flash and modifiers means that you can still create really cool photographs. It also helps to have a model as amazing as Demi who never complains and is always so enthusiastic and helpful. Thank you so much Demi. If you haven't seen part one of this shoot, I will link to it up here. In that video, I show you how I created this image, which is actually a composite which is made up of 18 different photographs. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I created these images using off-camera flash, the Magbox Pro 24, and for some of the shots, a Magmod Blue Gel. So I will now pass you over to me, Demi, and Mark in the pouring rain. Okay, and what we're now going to do is another photograph just to show off the rain, because again, the rain is coming down heavier now. So I've gone back to my Sony 85mm 1.8. We've got the Macbox Pro 24 here. I'm gonna ask Demi to stand about where I am here with the body away from it, just looking back. And then we have one speed light behind that's going to light up the rain. The one behind is in a freezer bag, as you can see, just to make sure that it's gonna be safe. The Macbox is flash A, that's gonna be a 128 power. Flash B, the one behind there is on 132. But I want now to shoot wide open, so I'm going to change my aperture to 1.8, drop my ISO to 100, and we'll put our shutter speed on, on 125th. Okay, Demi, if we can try it. You can keep the umbrella for now if you want, Demi. It's hardcore. Okay, we're going to go, going to go. Oh, a little bit lower, Demi, if that's right, so you're on the bottom step. Just be careful, you might just want to lift. So, sorry, just so you're here. There, if that's all right. Sorry, Demi, this is, this is crazy. Demi should not be having to do this. <laughs> <laughs> what I put Demi through, this may be the last time we ever see her, I reckon. Beautiful Demi, so you're going to be just looking back towards that light, that's, that's good. Three, two, there, the rain looks really cool. I'm going to go a bit closer, yeah. Yeah, that was good Demi, but just looking, just tilting your head a little bit towards the light. I'm going to put that about there. Trying to get the light, the mag box, as close as I can to Demi without it being too much in the frame because the closer the light, the softer the light. Beautiful, Demi. Good. Let's put that about there. I've got to turn up the power of, of the soft box from 128 to 164. Beautiful. So remember that the light behind is what's causing the, us to see the rain. Just looking straight at me, Demi, as you're doing that. Stunning. Beautiful, I'm just looking towards the light. Amazing. Now I'm gonna change my shutter speed to 150th even. I'm gonna change my aperture to 2.5. Beautiful Demi, thank you. We'll put you back in the in the dry for a second. So that's how you get really easy rain shots. The speed light behind Demi is lighting up the raindrops, which is why we can see them and the mag box is just lighting up Demi from the front. Now, if you're shooting two people, like a bride and groom on a wedding day, then it's oftentimes I will just use one light and have them facing each other. But when we're using one person, as we are here with Demi, then it's hard, you sort of need to light the subject from the front. So that's why I've just done those. I'm now gonna take my last shot of this shoot. I'm going to shoot the same as I did before, but whereas these shots were taken on the Sony 85mm, I've now gone to the Sony 35mm and I'm going to move the the Magbox a bit further back just because obviously these are going to be full length of Demi. The Magbox is soaking wet. So I'm adding a third speed light now. This is C and it's got a Magmod blue gel on. This is going to light up the building. So three speed lights. One behind Demi, just a test again, Demi. Yeah, that was good. Actually, I'm gonna put C directly behind Demi, facing up, so we're gonna get symmetrical light, which we're not getting at the moment. I'm gonna move you one step forward, if you don't mind, Demi, if that's all right. Just one, sorry, that way. Yeah, I'll move that light in a second, just so I can put this behind you. Yeah, look at the state of this dress. Oh. 
Demi's a hero. Yeah, that was good. Last little readjust of this one. And let's turn C up. So C is on an eighth power. C is the, the blue light behind Demi. I'm gonna put it up to a quarter power. Let's just do one last test. Yeah, that was good. C at eight and then we're done. Yeah. Okay, so I can take the umbrella then, Demi, if that's okay, thank you. So again, three speed lights. One lighting Demi in the mag box, that's A. That's on 164. One behind Demi, lighting up the rain, facing Demi from the back, that's B. And that's on an eight power and speed light C, which is lighting up the background with blue. And that is on an eight power as well. So I'm gonna ask Mark in a second to very kindly do the honors and take away the mag box once we've got this first shot. Beautiful Demi. So just looking towards that light Demi. Beautiful. I purposely not got a modifier on B. I want it to come out nice and wide to light up the rain. Yeah, so just looking towards that light Demi. Beautiful. Yeah, that's stunning. Okay, Mark, if you can just move the mag box. Now you'll notice I'm not moving. You can just point it away from me, please, mate. Just, it's all right, it's all right. Okay, then we'll put it back, Mark, if that's all right. I'm gonna come nice and close to you. This is just head and shoulders, don't worry too much. Do you mind if we just, just move that? That's it, yeah, yeah. It looks good though with your hair being like a bit wet. Beautiful Demi, say it all the time, but working with Demi, like she literally knows what I want her to do. Good Demi. Let's do a portrait, nice and close. Three, two, one. I thought to hold it there. Gorgeous. Three, two, one. Thank you so much, Demi. So this has been a crazy, crazy shoot. A massive thank you to Demi. She has got drenched on this shoot. It is sopping wet, you can see. And a huge thank you to Mark as well for helping me create these shots. So here are my favorite shots from this shoot. The first one, I think is gonna be my favorite. This is a composite made up of a number of different images of Demi all blended together in Photoshop. And then we have the 85 mil shots taken in the rain. And finally, the shots that I've just done there, the 35 mil shots in the rain. So yeah, thank you both so, so much. We're now gonna pack up, I think. Yeah, it's crazy, crazy weather. Again, I've got, look, just before I go, the state, <laughs> this dress is not gonna go back. <laughs> So yeah, thank you everyone for watching. If you have any questions at all, please do pop them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer everyone. And I will see you next time. Thank you. It's, it's the same one as what we sort of doing before that I showed you. That was cool. Really good, Demi. Oh, these are really good. These are better than before. What is going on? <laughs> You are right. Just when I thought we were finished. Just when I thought I was out. Drag me back in. Just look into that light there. This is going to be amazing. Good. Good, Demi. Yeah, got it. Got that one. That one counts, Demi. We've got it. This is just one without Demi, yeah. Yeah, good, good. I thought we were finished, but we weren't finished. <laughs> now we're finished.